coordinated movement of these birds is possible because of these two eccentric caps. Let us take out all the pieces and go through the design process for each one. holds all the parts together. This hole is for the axle while holes on the top are for the follower movement. Frame and other parts are designed in FreeCAD 0.2. Using a part design workbench, we will start the sketch in the XZ plane. With the help of polyline tool, let us draw an outline. Thickness of 3mm is sufficient. Distance between these two lines is 15 mm. This space will be used for eccentric cam movement. This distance is 75 mm, which is enough for the cams to move up and down. Same is true with the width as well. Now, the sketch is fully constrained. Let us pad it. These holes are provided in case we need to fix this frame to some other surface. Let us quickly create these as well. We will make use of datum plane for the holes on the upper part of the frame. Each hole with a diameter of 3.4 mm is enough for the rod to pass through. Let us check this symmetric to plane option. For the axle hole, let us create another sketch in the XY plane. Its diameter is 7.5 mm. Now, our frame is ready. Shape of this axle is hexagonal instead of round one. That way, we can adjust, remove and lock the cams in place very easily. We will also create a handle for the axle. Eccentric cams are very easy to design. Hexagonal hole ensures that fitment with the axle takes place easily. Distance between these two lines is 6.5 mm. To create a bird, we will use image editor. Let us import sketch of the bird and resize it as per our need. We will use Bezier curve to trace the shape and pad it accordingly. Our bird profile is ready.
you can try these ones very easily without any detailed instructions Let us assemble all the parts together. Instead of these large eccentric cams, we can use another set of cams. As its configuration is different, we get a different kind of movement when we attach it to the frame. Give it a try. Thank you.